We're in the lobby of the Mechanical Engineering Department and Virginia Tech. This is our dream vendor. This is the only 3D printing station of its kind that allows students to have free access to it and control over it. I originally started in engineering because I really loved robots. And when I discovered 3D printing, it's like a robot that actually makes something. So that was really exciting to me. These are from MakerBot Industries. They're called Thingomatics. The machine's been open for about two and a half weeks. We are not able to count how many people have been using it. It's been running nonstop. We're in the CAD lab of the Department of Mechanical Engineering. In our lab, we had this handheld microscope that we needed a stand for, so we took some measurements and created it all in this 3D modeling program. From there, the program will generate the G-code that you will put on an SD card, and then you'll take it to the Dream Vendor. Put the SD card in the slot. We're gonna select Build from SD, and then you just pick your file, and then you hit OK, and the printer prints your part. It's like a hot glue gun, so it shoves this plastic through the nozzle and extrudes this molten plastic, and from there, it draws the pattern of each layer of the part. It's pretty amazing how intricate the parts can be that can come out of this machine. We've had chess pieces, action figures, we've had really complex objects. The finished part will come out into this bin, and so when it's done, you'll just grab your part. So this is the object I created. I designed and printed on the Dream Vendor. It's for my microscope sits in there and it allows me to look at my test samples. One of the things I really like as a researcher in 3D printing is getting to see people's ideas for the use of 3D printing. You know, I can only think of so many things that this technology can, can do and opening this up to the public really helps our research out because we get those ideas from other people.